Sacho Luis Noguera Serrano. We are here in Valencia, Spain, studying uh, Oscar San and, and I. Uh, the ideas for our next uh, degree test, or uh, respectively for Sensei and Sidosi. And we are studying with Sidos Jordan. And today we are going to explain in this Monosuki, remember that Monosuki is about curiosities. And we are solving some ideas that many people it's, uh, it's asking about if we have some kind uh, of self-defense. Because, of course, we are a traditional school and many people is asking, well, okay, you are traditional, you know the anthropology, you know uh, the origins of our school or traditional or more middle-aged uh, techniques. But, of course, what about self-defense? Ogawa Sensei, in his school, uh, was teaching something called about Torigaishi. Torigaishi is what we understand as self-defense. And some people ask, what's the difference between Jujutsu itself and Torigaishi? Because Torigaishi techniques are based on Jujutsu. Well, Jujutsu are, uh, are prepared, are designed in order to defend against an other samurai, another samurai that want to kill you, then you are a samurai, you are uh, regular uh, living people on the middle age, in the feudal age of Japan, and you need to defend against a samurai that wants to kill you, that have betrayed you, etc. Then, of course, the main care that you need to have in Jujutsu is to defend against the possibility of drawing a sword, drawing a tanto, and of course, you are fighting against a samurai. Of course, when we are looking carefully at the evolution, the age, the modern age in Japan, the things start to change. Because, of course, the main risk for, a, for a, the personal risk, a self-risk that you could have is not uh, it's not the attack, a betrayal of other samurai. It's more an attack of someone that wants to, 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 to rob you, wants to violate if you are a woman, or something like that. Then, in this case, in, in these cases, uh, you need to defend, and these techniques were called, was an evolution from the Jujutsu called Tori Gaishi. Tori means to catch, and Gaishi to return. Is there uh, is returning the the uh, the grab returning when you are cats when you are drink. Then the idea, for example, on this story, guys, was the following. Please, Oscar San, can you help me? You are going uh, you are going to uh, grip my neck in order to make uh, a, a choke on my neck here with both hands. For example, in these kind of techniques, first of all, what Ogawa Sensei teaches is how to defend, for example, going down with my neck here, and from here, for example, coming and having different kind of ribs here, okay, in order to defend. These kind of techniques and many other were explained for the women, because women were in risk of being violated, being rape, being uh, attacked by an enemy, for example, also using tanto, also using several things, for example, some kind of attacks, a direct, a, a direct uh, tsuki, a direct punch, or uh, any kind of attack where, uh, where impossibility of being uh, suffered. Then in this uh, situation, there is something called, some, sometimes, sorry, sometimes called as onanogoshin or goshin, but this is more a modern way of calling them because the, uh, the, the, the proper way, it's as we have explained, torigaishi, when the attack is a, a, a grip, and, uh, and a kogeki gaishi, because kogeki means attack. It's when you are attacking by a punch, by some strikes, Etc. Or, for example, when the other is uh, trying to attack with a tanto or any uh, bladed weapon. Coming from this, of course, we start to evolve and 
we are not talking about Edo period, but pre meiji period and after, is to say uh, 19th century or 20th century, what happened? Of course, the risk evolved, and for example, they started to be in risk of being attacked by a, by a gang, for example. Remember that the gangs were developed mainly on the 19th century, and Japan, uh, despite of being a feudal era, they have also some, uh, some guns and they need to defend and of course they apply this kogeki gaeshi to these things. And the first basic things uh, to study were uh, the, most, uh, the most easy ways to defend against a gun. For example, let's start uh, from a tanto attack or a tanto possibility of being in risk how to defend, okay, please, I take In this way, for example, if he has the tanto in, uh, in, his, uh, in his belt, in his obi, for example, okay, I also say, taught that they, you need to defend before he uh, draw the tanto. Then, in this case, we block, and here we strike, for having this kind of control, this kind of leverage on this, this lock, okay? And from here you can continue. Then, this is the basic way to defend when he is drawing a tanto. Then, if he has a gun on the belt itself, one more time, please. Now, he has the gun on the belt. Right, and he, we expect that he is gonna taking out. Then the first thing is striking in order to uh, take out the, uh, the attention out of the uh, uh, of taking out the gun and from here with this block pass to the side and we have the control. Of course the gun is still in the belt then we need to avoid him to take out the, the gun okay because he still has the left hand in order to try to take out. Then Having control on the on the side, we have to go around in order to protect. Right here, we have the control, maybe taking this to the side and avoiding him to take out the gun. Of course, this is so primitive. This is not uh, so smart. We need to take a look that for us, in our tradition, this is why we are so, uh, so uh, we have so caution on not explaining this for us and especially for Ogawa Sensei uh, what it, it's this kind of self-defense what is this Tori Gaeshi, this uh, Kogeki Gaeshi the first thing is not martial arts because martial arts doesn't work for example, if I want one more time if he has the gun, this pistol body, for example, on the belt, and I try whatever, of course, he is so fast too, as myself, and if I am arriving late, for example, here, I don't have, and I am dead right now. Then, this is a, a simple and clear explanation why martial art it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work, is to say, what is the most important here? The most important is the attitude. The attitude and the experience to see and to watch what is happening around. Then if I have some distance here, it will be very difficult to arrive before he is taking out the gun. But if I have the condition that I am more near, of course, if I don't have any escape, I cannot run away from this situation, I could look, for example, on my corners, what is happening around, if I have an enemy, I could protect, maybe in some space, but if not, of course, directly, right now, we have the control and the same technique. Same, for example, if he has the gun in the back, because other ways to have the back gun in his back. We, of course, we are not seeing the gun, but if we take a look, on his breath, if we take a look on what is happening in his shoulders, because the technique will start here. We have the control when he, when he is going 
with his hand down, uh, uh, sorry, uh, backside. I have the control here, the strike, strong, and control here in order to avoid him to take out the gun. We could go to the ground, take a look on my knee here in order to put the strike again, once again, right here, and of course we have the access to the gun. Then, this is an evolution of this kind of Torigaesi, of this kind of Kogeki Gaesi, because of course he could also try with the gun out how to do, how to apply this kind of self-defense. This was what Ogawa Sensei developed when in Brazil, when Ogawa Sensei was after the Second World War in Brazil, and the Sindor MA, the, this kind of, uh, of uh, how to say, of uh, people that was uh, attacking the Japanese colony in Brazil, uh, how Ogawa Sensei was explaining how to defend against these kind of attacks. And sometimes, for example, was explaining basic things, how to avoid uh, some of the Japanese colony were killed. For example, when he has the gun, the first thing, of course, if he's someone, someone trying to uh, maybe uh, threaten him, some of some of the family or something like that. First of all, to avoid to uh, that the people were killed. Then, first of all, to make the gun go uh, up. And how to do it? For example, having here and having this and controlling this right here. This is the first thing because, of course, if we try to fight again, we have a problem here because he will turn and he will kill me or maybe if he is uh, nervous, maybe he will shot. For example, Hapa! and we have killed maybe the family, some member of the family. Then, on this way, first of all, up, and we have this. Go to the side, we have the control, sorry, only to see for the camera. We have the control here, okay? The, uh, the target is down or maybe turning back to him here and he's very violent. In order to disarm, maybe go to the ground here, making control here. And we have, of course, the ending technique. As you can see, these kind of forms, this kind of self-defense comes from the Jujutsu. It's not different from the Jujutsu. The most... Uh, a point of attention that we have to, to understand on this. First of all, we have to understand that the attitude is the first to defend ourselves from this kind of risky situation. And the second thing is to apply and to, uh, with uh, so pragmatist, understand what are the risks of the situation. Is to say, to make an analyze of what is happening around and to apply the same kind of liberate attacks, strikes, uh, defense of Jujutsu that we have studied along all Jujutsu that we have in all our curriculum, in our tradition, in our program. Then, for to end this curiosity, only uh, to show you a little details, basic details, because these techniques are not so smart, are basic, uh, only to understand what's the way of Ogawa Sensei and the Ogawa lineage to explain how to defend against common attacks, common risks that we have in the regular life. Then, as in any uh, the many videos that we have shared with you, thank you very much for the attention. It has been a great opportunity to me and to Oscar San to uh, be explain you. And thank you for following us. Please keep attention on your next videos that surely uh, you won't disappoint. Thank you very much.